each time we walk into a bank or a mobile phone carrier branch, we would often hear the staff complaining about how hard it is to use their internal business systems. In previous videos, we explored why companies suck at designing their internal systems and in this video, I am sharing with you some tips to make your employees happy by reducing their cognitive load when using their internal systems. products like a company's back-end super admin system can be a real struggle for several reasons. First, most of them are web-based and the large screen size on a browser means that a user would have to deal with tons of information all at once. Second, an organization's operation can be complex and it would take some serious training to understand what each part of the system means. For example, a trainee banker would have to learn about loans, credit cards, transaction accounts, saving accounts, checks, investments, stock trading, bonds, etc. And each of those functions could be scattered across different web pages. All of that information, if left unorganized, would be a disaster for employees. They would spend a lot of time trying to find the application of interest and customers would be frustrated due to the low efficiency. So how do we reduce the cognitive load in an internal business application? First of all, your design should remain consistent. Using atomic design and design systems efficiently can help you maintain consistency across all of your business systems. Second, enable customization. Every one of us works differently and allowing our employees to customize their virtual workspace can help them quickly find the application that they are looking for. Third, hide non-essential information. A person from the home loan department doesn't really need to access stock trading functions. Finally, program your systems and automate workflows if possible. Let the system take care of the maximum amount of tasks so that human errors can be reduced and your employees would be more pleased. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to visit our website at void.com. This is San, you're watching UX Tips at Void. See you in the next video.